I think this could be a little gem, this one. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Hi hey guys, welcome to Wrexham Cemetery here in Wales. Oh, and happy Easter. I know I'm a bit late, but uh, better late than never. Oh, I thought this was the way in. Strange, you usually have the uh, chapel archway leading directly to the cemetery. Strange. But uh, we are here for an Easter. Easter related reason and that is the cemetery egg hunt that was due to take place in the older section of the cemetery so the right hand side bit over there and um, there was a bit of a backlash from people that have relatives buried here and it never happened And we're already in the old section. Emma Turner there. And um, yeah, I'd be interested to know your thoughts, whether you think this is a safe place for an egg hunt. To the honoured memory of those sailors and soldiers who gave their lives for their country in the Great War. Oh, and not just if it's safe, if it's. Um, if you think it's disrespectful because you are going to get kids hanging off stuff and climbing over things and probably hang off a cross like that just trying to have a good time not really aware of the dangers and the um, disrespect by running through a graveyard you got no idea at that age, have you really, what it all means? How do you say that? Yeman, Yeman, Yeman Strachan, Mayor of Wrexham died 1891 and Emily so we've met the mayor this is John Parsonage who died 1898 so I'm not against fun in a cemetery I mean I'm having fun right now but um, I can see both sides of the arguments. The cemetery wants to, well, it said online that it wants to give young people a bit of an introduction or exposure to genealogy and get a bit of interest in the cemetery. And the families say it's disrespectful, so I can see that point of view as well. I wonder what Margarita Elizabeth who died in 1905 would make of it all. Maybe she'd think it's a bit of fun. But, look at this. And you've got big holes there. Big enough for a kid to slip into. And maybe a coffin. To fall onto. It's full of leaves, can't see anything. It does make you think that it's probably not safe. I don't know what um, the average gravestone weighs. I'd guess maybe half a ton, but ones like this, maybe one or two tons. So if fate did happen and you was meant to be squashed by one, you um, be surprised if you su survived it. 
especially if you're a chocolate face little munchkin. So I think over this little hill you can just see the new or the newer burial section. And there are some uh, newish kind of graves in the old section as well, so there's not much stopping kids running around onto the newer graves. They are pretty close. William Edge Samuel. Didn't quite make out when he died. We'll um we'll carry on down here a bit and we'll come back to this old section. I just wanna quickly go see what else there is, whether there's any mausoleums and stuff. Catherine Castle, 28 years mistress. Oh, mistress of a school. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. So, a lady dedicated to education there. Is Mary with a statue of Mary on a grave. I love these uh, scroll graves. Reverend George, somebody, can't really make it out. Thomas Openshaw, town councillor, died in 1900. And a pink granite that we can actually read. George Kimball Jones, 1903. Very big slab of uh, marble there, or granite. Always get the two confused. So now I'm going to chill on that bench for a bit and eat one of my favourite Easter treats and see what's the worst thing can, that can happen <laughs> on an egg hunt in a cemetery. So this if it'll focus, is a uh, Cadbury's cream egg. Focus. Oh, for God's sake. There you go. That's a Cadbury's cream egg. And if we get it out of the wrapper, it looks obviously just a chocolate egg. in focus again there we go and inside it looks like excuse me a egg but it's full of sugar and absolutely delicious just on the other side of the chapel The old section. Of course, the more prominent you were, the closer you were buried to the church or the chapel. And 
John Francis was a chemist on Hope Street in Wrexham. Michael D. Jones doesn't say what he was. He died 1889. John Griffiths, daughter Mabel, died five weeks, and Jesse, three and a half years, and they're with him as well. Edward Stokes, 1885. John Jones, who entered into his rest while participating in the Harvest Thanksgiving service at Zion Chapel, 1900. I wonder what happened there, maybe we choke on something? Sorry for laughing, but that was uh, unexpected. Sarah Maria, 1878. Had to read that. Some memorials are old and maybe unstable. Please do not climb or lean on them. And I won't repeat that in the Welsh underneath, because I can't. Got a little angel here in loving memory of John Elias, little John in brackets, who fell asleep is that February 25th, 1914, age four. Oh man. It is depressing walking around cemeteries sometimes when you see the uh, kids' graves and young people. Little castle detail on this one. Archibald Malcolm McIntyre. That's pretty cool. And Bertram E. Foster. 1899 to 1922, the Welsh Regiment Wrexham Football Club. Now owned by everyone's favourite heartthrob, Ryan Reynolds. I know my friend Tony's a big fan of him. Just saw this little window on this grave. Oh, what's this? Like a coat of arms, Maurice, Leo, somebody. But look at this, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's nice to see a bit of detail on a Art Deco kind of grave. They're usually pretty plain. Agnes, the beloved wife of George Washington Turner. Lovely angel. A 
check out this Jesus, as soon as it is. Oh, B. Uh. As soon as it's Easter. Francis John Vaughan. We're a long way from the sea in Wrexham. Look at that. Very nautical. James Arthur, 1926. My money's on him being a sailor. Don't know why. Another scrolly one here. James. Ken Air, is that? And look at this. Probably my favourite one so far. Teoid Melville, the loving child of Hutchie and Thomas Zine Jones. Died 1927. Also, Bobby, 1946, age 17. And Huey. Can't make that out. Is it Anne or Annie? Arthur Jane, 1952. But look at these. It's not long after your death, relatively speaking. That one's got 1970 on it. 54 years later, everyone's forgotten about you. It does make you think, doesn't it? I think this could be a little gem, this one. Oh yeah. Wow, look at that. Thomas Hogg. 1915. Wow, that is cool. The uh, patina makes it, doesn't it? That is the uh, my favourite one so far. We got a little, another little angel here. Oh, look at her. The little flower. Joan Palmer. All we can see. We've got some war graves up here. I don't normally um, film any war graves because I normally like looking at different architectural elements of graves and these are all pretty much the same but um oh, it's polish let's have a look anyway and um see what they were well, it doesn't say on those ones but there's a couple of um english ones i think here lewis was in the catering and Scott was a pilot. No, Royal Canadian Air Force. I guess um, it wasn't possible to return most of these lads to the homeland at the time. So they ended up here in Wales. W.H. Stewart, he was an air gunner. Let's check this lad out on his own over here. A.E. Williams, Parachute Regiment. Some more Polish ones here.
As Spitfire Kev would say, thank you for your service, gentlemen. Lurking in the woods now. I think I've found this cemetery dump. What do you think? Are they just like paving stones or parts of graves? They may be like, um, like the Art Deco plain graves, plain graves. But um, there is some grave edging over there, so probably is old gravestones. Back to that bit we went to in the beginning. Have a little deeper look. Ooh, what's that over there? I'm gonna go through, but you can see some uh, some ornate grave furniture there. Corner post and a bit of chain. Bit of a mess in this bit. Not child friendly. Frank Guy Chadwick killed in action in Senalika, is that? 1918, aged just 21. Something there. Right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna check out a couple down this way. Let's go check out those two grey ones. Samuel, remember him? I did that one. It's deeper than it looks on camera, probably. Mary Eliza, 1889. Also, Maria and John next door. William Jones, formerly of, I can't read that, 1904. A bit of a maze this one, you've got graves facing all sorts of directions. George Garrett, David and Martha Pride, 1888, age 3 years and 11 months. Very ornate this one for Elizabeth. 
Beloved wife of Edward Lloyd, 1885, in the 55th year is that, and Edward died 1909. Down here, Edward Lloyd, Black Lion, 1886 maybe. Don't think he was a Black Lion, I'm guessing Black Lion was a pub. Thought this was a real bird for a second then. Thought that's a funny angle for a bird. Mary Jane in that one. Can't read much else on it. It's a shame, isn't it? In another hundred years, you're not going to be able to read anything on these. You can just make out the odd name now. I wonder if YouTube will be around in a hundred years. Maybe you're watching this now, hundred years from 2024. And I'm just the voice from beyond the grave. Here we've got Elizabeth Johnston, the beloved wife of Llewellyn Davies, who was a builder of this town. Which ones we looked at now? Let's go through here because we didn't go through this bit, did we? I mean, not that I'll be able to read much, but um, we'll have a look. This looks nice in a derelict kind of way, doesn't it? It's a bit flaky if you've got kids running through it and past it. You're definitely going to take some of the information off. Yeah, so let me know in the comments. Would you let your kid or yourself do a little egg hunt for Easter around here? Don't let my opinion influence yours. I don't actually know what mine is anyway. I think I'm on... Uh, can see both sides of the argument. James Owen Solicitor. Here we go, a more prominent person close to the church or the chapel again. Cannot read that one. Oh, Margaret Jones. Uh, Annie, the beloved wife of Thomas Jones, who was also a builder in this town, 1885, oh, six children of the above, wow, god, that's terrible. Six children. All right, we'll make these two big ones. And last ones before I wrap it up. Anne, the youngest daughter of the late Thomas and Sophia Parsonage of Hope Street, Wrexham. She is not dead, the child of our affection, but gone until 
onto a school where she no longer needs our protection and Christ himself doth something cruel maybe this is Annie Elizabeth beloved child of Richard William and Isabella Evans of Chester Street Wrexham six months I think that it says on there alright guys I'll wrap it up now thank you for watching sorry I was gone so long but I'll see you on the next one very soon oh I'm just going to look at this one nothing much on it but um Quite interesting. Anyway, I shall see you on the next one. Bye for now.